Why can't we use outdated offices to house workers, homeless? Why are Democrats not pushing to house the working poor, homeless in these empty office buildings? Empty buildings attract vagrancy over time. Da why don't we at least put people with social security? Numbers in there. People who work, etc. Before drifters come in? Empty buildings are blight and help no one. HTTPS www.foxbusiness.com slash economy slash commercial real estate industry edge downtown empty office space go sunnest office buildings would be a bad idea for quite a few reasons plumbing would be the first that comes to mind but malls have plumbing going to each storefront already and there have been some really successful conversions of abandoned malls to into low-income housing https www.boardpanda.com slash america soldist shopping mall microlofts arcade providence northeast collaborative archie texts utm source equals google and utm medium equals organic and utm campaign equals organic office buildings are not apartments they are not set up to have the hundreds of kitchens and bathrooms needed to convert them to apartments. The money needed to convert offices to apartments makes this unfeasible. It would be very very expensive to convert and no one wants to pay for homeless to have a place to live. Bathrooms it's slowly starting but the vast majority of office buildings are not made to live in. The renovations required can be just as expensive as building the proper amenities. Also many buildings are designed with a lot of internal, windowless space. Why are Democrats not pushing? They literally are. HTTPS www.axios.com slash 2022 slash 09 slash 28 slash office buildings housing could yes work downtown Rus. Just because you aren't paying attention doesn't mean it isn't happening. The plumbing. People need water and bathrooms it is cheaper to make housing first town houses and provide training for local jobs. Why is it everyone thinks they have to be apartment dwelling to house people? They can easily be converted to communal living spaces. Many such buildings already possess cafeterias. And you can transform a lower floor to be a spa floor. Maybe people don't want to share toilets with their neighbors. Or don't want to ride down to floor 2 to take a shower. They're not required to live there. Municipal pressure is already there then it's just a matter of ensuring flow rate is adequate. Though you can add on-site water storage to help ensure that. But ultimately, these buildings are chiefly private property. The owners are in control over how the buildings are used. Why is that solely the domain of Democrats? The assumption being that politicians care about solving the problems of the most vulnerable. Americans. What do we do about the inevitable mess these people will leave? Because you know there will be piles everywhere. Simply warehousing the homeless will just concentrate squalor. Obviously, the solution needs to be bigger. Like space program bigger. But, there seems to be no will for it in the US. The rights of the individual tend to win over the the collective every time. Everywhere I go, it's all about personal responsibility, so nothing gets done. The ones with more resources just shove the homeless away. I love the idea short term but the US reality is it would become a permanent hellscape for everyone involved. That might help someone. More accurately, it would piss off their corporate masters. From what I understand in parts of Cali that tried putting homeless in vacant hotel rooms and it became an unmitigated disaster. They completely underestimated what would be needed to attend to people that in many cases have psychological issues, etc. Basically, 
similar to trying to feed all of Africa while the world has so much excess food it is more complicated than it seems. I hate to be that guy but who's paying for that? Who's gonna be in charge? Have you ever seen what sometimes happens to places housing homeless? I can send you a link what happened to new renovated apartments in now Assal. https www.fakt.pl slash widarazenia slash polska slash mishkansiosidle mishkansocialnichwagu 4 lat de provagelite mesh sedo ruini week 370a I'm not a city planner but it seems to me that that's a pretty bad plan. Interestingly they just sold my old office building last year and apparently are turning it into luxury condos. So in some cases they are. L at least turning them into housing. If not for the homeless. NYT did a great article on this. Basically. It's hard. HTTPS www.nytimes.com slash 2022 slash 12 slash 27 slash business slash what would eat a key to turn more office into housing dot html schmied equals nyt core ios share and referring source equals article share fire code codes in general the buildings would need massive renovations in office buildings Fewer exits are required because they are largely common space. In residential apartments for most jurisdictions, each individual apartment is required to have its own set of multiple egress points, e.g. front door, balcony, patio, fire escape. That six-story office would need fire escapes added to every unit, new plumbing for every unit, etc. Additionally, Fully interior units are a big no-go. You could only build units on the exterior facing spots. Not in any interior only space. This is why apartment buildings tend to be, long and skinny, looking. Or plus signs like in project housing. You can't just build a giant square because the apple core of that building will be unusable for residential space. It'd be cheaper to just tear the building down and build a new one. It's a nice idea, rhetorically. But in practice you would tear those buildings down and repurpose, rezone the land to build from. Scratch. Edit. Also. Zoning is a big deal for a reason. A block of lots zoned for commercial aren't necessarily going to be rigged up for the capacity of a true living space. There may be nearby lots that are hazardous to residential spaces. There may not be, for instance, an actual school or a bus route to accommodate students in an area that's zoned entirely for business parks. So not only would the building need renovated, but it's possible the entire neighborhood would need renovated too. Should we let all that stop us? No, but it's still going to stop us because those funds are currently going where they're needed more. The military-industrial complex's endless wars of imperial capitalist global hegemony. Extremely expensive conversion. Think of how many bathrooms are in an office compared to an apartment building. And how many emergency exits. Works on some not on most to convert and meet codes often doesn't make financial sense. To convert illegally would get you sued. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.